The pink slime controversy has Americans changing their meat shopping and also meat eating habits. A century ago, housewives demanded and watched butchers grind their beef so they could be sure lower quality scraps weren't tossed in the package. On your side, consumer advocate Jen Strathman joins us now. And Jen, some consumers are returning to days gone by to find the freshest meat for their cash. Well, the good old days are making a comeback because meat labels don't tell you a whole lot. So you're left with the price of a product or how it looks like the ones in front of me. I bought all this ground meat five days ago from three different sources. On Newsnet5.com, I've been asking you all day where you think we got all three of these from the West Side Market, the butcher, or the grocery store. And two thirds of you got it wrong. Hi, how are you? Good, I want to get some meat. For years, the question was, where's the beef? But now, the question is, where's the pink slime? It has negative connotations all over it. You get something ground, you don't know what's going in there. The cheap filler once used only in cooking oil and dog food, until recently, was in 70% of grocery store ground meat. I think that'll leave that part of the cow for dog food. Many grocery stores say they no longer sell ground beef filled with slime. But the controversy has consumers looking for other options. We found they're closer than you may think. I know these guys ain't going in the back and using ammonia and water and trying to get the last couple ounces of uh, meat. With USDA stamped organic meat, you're guaranteed no fillers, but that will cost you. I'm willing to pay more for quality. Five on your side found quality doesn't have to come at a price. There are alternate sources of meat that won't break the bank. As I ask you, where do you get your meat from? Consumers are asking more questions about their meat. Finding those answers is easy at the West Side Market. The guy that's cutting your meat is standing right there behind that counter. Tony Pinzoni says he grinds his own beef, and most of his steaks come from local sources. A lot of the beef that we carry come from uh, comes from a couple different packing houses in a hundred mile radius. There are options even closer. Not a secret anymore. 40 minutes from downtown Cleveland, Edward Freiger makes a pit stop at the Amish butcher rather than his local grocer. To me, there's a perception that this is fresh, fresh, or like the cow just came out a couple of days ago off the pasture. This is all your hanging beef. And it's all natural. It's beef is raised right around here. Raised, <laughs> aged, and cut all in Ohio. No pink slime. <laughs> Chiaka Farms Country Meats is one of several butcher shops seeing a rise in business. While you'll pay a little more in gas money, you'll pay less for most meats. They're competitive. We checked meat prices at the butcher shop, the West Side Market, and two popular Northeast Ohio grocers. Four out of six cuts we checked were cheaper at the butcher. On the days we checked ground beef, the meat that's generated so much controversy, was 67 cents cheaper than the grocery store. Not a big difference, but a higher quality cup, like a porterhouse, will save you more. The butcher's price, $8.99 a pound. You'll pay $10.79 at the grocery store. That's almost $2 difference. You'll save more than a dollar on sirloin steaks, too. On your more common steaks like strip or ribeye, the grocer is sometimes cheaper, especially if there's a sale. I'll pay the same price or maybe even a little more to get something that I feel is healthier or is processed fresher. At the West Side Market, I don't want your most expensive and I don't want your cheapest, I want middle range. The prices fell in the middle of the pack on most cuts of meat. They weren't the highest, but not the lowest. The day we checked, the market prices were 20 to 50 cents more per pound than the butcher. Two stands down there, there's guys selling steaks too. At the market, competition is around every corner, helping drive down those prices. Which one is your um, The one, the second one in. And making it easier for you to find the meat you want. So the question we've been asking all day on Newsnet5.com, can you really tell the difference by looking at these and by the price? Danita, which one's the most expensive? Okay, I'm going to say it's A. I'm going to point to this one and say that A is the most expensive. A is actually from the West Side Market, and it's kind of middle of the road for most of the prices. B is actually the most expensive, and that's from the grocery store. Well, I wouldn't think that. I yeah. thought that would be the cheapest. It's actually a dollar more than any of these other ones, and that's from the grocery store. And C is from the butcher. It was the cheapest. And that's where we got that. So we one. need to go back to the basics how they used to do in the old days. Go back to the butcher if you want to save, you know, a little money. That's what a lot of people are doing. So many we talked to said they have seen a rise in business.
All right. Well, very interesting story. Definitely a hot story on Newsnet5.com. And, Jen, we thank you for looking, at, looking into that for us. All right. Chris?